support for the British monarchy and royal institutions in Canada is being undermined by a simmering expenses scandal involving the country's governor-generals, a leading tax campaigner has warned. The issue involves a little-known policy that allows retired governor-generals to claim expenses from the government for an indefinite period of time once they have retired. This has led to taxpayers footing bills that run into millions of Canadian dollars for former state officials who are essentially no longer carrying out any useful public service. Aaron Udrick, director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, has argued that this scandal is potentially very damaging to the reputation and legitimacy of royal institutions among the wider Canadian public. As the Queen's representative in Canada, the Governor-General is the de facto face of the British monarchy in Canada. Governor-Generals carry out various administrative and ceremonial roles, such as signing into law legislation passed by the Canadian Parliament. The Canadian government appoints the Governor-General, who normally serves a five- to seven-year term. The position comes with many perks, such as a generous pension and a grant worth millions of dollars to help fund the Governor-General's charitable activities once they have stepped down from their role. Mr. Udrick told Express.co.uk, Governor-Generals are allowed to bill expenses, an unlimited amount to taxpayers. They are not required to provide any details and they're allowed to file these expenses forever. So we have one particular Governor-General, her name is Adrienne Clarkson. She's now been retired for almost 15 years. She has billed more than a million dollars of expenses in that time with no transparency and it is an unbelievable policy and no one can understand why this policy exists. He added, it blew up about a year ago and it kind of went away but because of what has happened with Harry and Meghan, the issue of spending money on royals who are not doing anything, this has become a much more topical thing again. Support for the monarchy as Canada is fairly precarious, having steadily decreased over the years. This is partly because of changing demographics, resulting in fewer and fewer people having a heritage and cultural link to the royal institution. According to a Yougov poll carried out in January, more than two in five Canadians want to cut ties with the Queen. The Yougov survey data shows 44% of Canadians strongly or somewhat support abolishing the monarchy in Canada, while 29% strongly or somewhat oppose the notion. Canadians aged 35 to 44 are more likely than any other age group to support the idea. Mr. Udrick believes that the recent fear are over who should pay for Meghan and Harry's security costs, combined with the expenses scandal is making Canadians increasingly question the relevance of royal institutions in Canada's daily political life. He said, it has definitely made a lot of people question whether or not our institutions need updating. Mr. Udrick is the inspiration behind the petition, that called on Justin Trudeau to ensure taxpayers did not pay a penny for Meghan and Harry's security costs, while they were residing in Canada. He told Express.co.uk that he found the royal couple's refusal to clarify their position on who should pay for their security both insensitive and mystifying. I think it was insensitive. I was always trying to be fair to them. When they made their initial statements about their change in life plans and they had said how they wanted to become financially independent, that was their objective, and I think that's a very noble objective. And I had hoped that they would clarify that meant they did not expect taxpayers, certainly in Canada, to be paying for them. They had plenty of opportunities to do it, they were given plenty of opportunities, I am a bit mystified as to why they didn't clarify that very early on.